guys and welcome back to my youtube channel Trevor Asi darling thank you guys so much for clicking once again if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing and so all my OGs you know what to do comment down below let me know gang gang now this particular video um when this story was trending i stayed away from it now for those of you that do not know backstory messi chinwo and her husband pastor blessed had um, welcomed their son she gave birth here in canada and um she um kept the baby under wraps till his dedication which is normal for many parents they usually keep to dedication or first year and this is a couple i love so much i covered their wedding you can check my videos out their trad and their white and that's why i just stayed away from it because I'm the kind of person that when I love somebody, I'm very passionate about the angles of which I bring. And I want a situation whereby the emotion is, is different from just me reporting the news as it is. Now, um, Nigerians and this, their, their newfound crave for DNA, it took a sinister turn. By the time they, f they flatline bullied Messi Chingo, like what was going on on social media was bullying. At that point, when she unveiled her son, bullying all sorts of nonsense comments anybody with a phone and data these days they just go off and that is not fair like that is so crazy yesterday i did a video talking about the new dna matter how they've been dragging with me and it just seems like everybody's obsessed with dna all of a sudden a new mother said uh, before she even got pregnant to give birth her husband came and said dna and now anybody that shows their child there's there's one comment somebody is trying to i don't know whether they want to trend I don't know whether they think it's funny. They just put a DNA thing. And it's crazy. Like, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. People and celebs have a right to their privacy. And don't get angry simply because she didn't show the baby sins. Yeah, upset. Like, I don't get it. And then, they have a right to their privacy. But even when they, they show you, they have a right to be respected. They have a right. If you know me on social media, one thing I always tell you people... Kids are off limits. I don't I don't care. Number one, kids are off limits. Number two, kids are off limits. Number three, kids are off limits. Messi Chimo is a good Christian. All the Natanabasi husband, all those ones are Christian. Anybody come for my child, 40 years, I never forgive you. Me. <laughs> Anybody that drag and follow you and be talking back and forth on social media, those ones are, are Christians. Me. 40, 20, you would have you would have forgotten it. I will still do you something, eh? That you you will not even believe it. Kids are off limit. I keep saying it. It doesn't matter the amount of money you think you make from that clout. Kids are off limit. It's not funny anymore. It's getting out of hand. It's getting to a point where, in fact, when I heard the news today, Nathan Obasi had sued. I just said, fantastic. They must be jailed. This particular one is not even for. It's not about man of God forgive. No, 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 no. This one has to enter jail. Because not only are you accusing uh, him of, of infidelity, him a married man, a pastor, you're accusing the other lady, a married woman, a, a gospel mu uh, musician of infidelity, you're causing emotional stress to both spouses. Ha! This is not just something that... Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Now, I'm reading this from um, Insta blog. You know, he had petitioned and he sent a letter to the igp and all of that and i want to follow this case to the end because what exactly is going on with social media i get freedom of speech but there has to be a line i did a video on my other channel where i was talking about uk content creators and it's one of the content creators that seemingly got a message from the uk government about insults that they've been hurling at um sunak the prime minister and i said even if this paper looks fake some people say it's real some people say it's a prank I said, this is a wake-up call to content creators. There has to be a line to freedom of speech. There has to be a line to freedom of speech. As if I knew. I did the DNA for on this channel and I did the um, the freedom of speech um, content creators warning on the other channel. And just today, see what is going on. It seemed like the two have put content creators in problem again. Now, let's read. There are three major people that heralded this particular thing. And those three people were quoted. They were quoted. The first person, Okonon Kwaejike, said, This is the true face of Messi Chinwo's child she was hiding after giving birth. But the truth is that this little baby looks exactly like singer Nathan Obasi. 
Nobody, nothing anybody won't reason me. Oh. This child is Nathaniel Bassi's baby. Just maybe there was a secret away match that occurred. Otherwise, how can we make empirical sense of this? Okoronko Ejiki. Another person, Terrence Eckert, said, Take a look at the stunning resemblance of Mesichinwo's son and Nathaniel Bassi. Though duo have been working together on several projects in the past, what do you have to say? DJ Spoiled Kid continued by saying, When are we doing DNA? This is the true face of Mesichinwo's um, child. That's he was replying. Um, Okoron Kochi, um, educate. This is another part I'm going to put in. In DJ, DJ Sports Kid, in his mind, he's just quoting somebody's tweet. Oga, because you have no restraint in terms of what you put your mouth inside, you have been quoted. You're even a verified account. You have been quoted and, and captured as one of the people that are coming for. As one of the people that are coming for. His, his sentence was, When are we doing DNA tests? In your mind, you're catching crews, but see what where it has landed you. So the body of the of the post from Insta blog read: Gospel singer Nathaniel Bassi asked IGP to investigate and prosecute four persons who accused him of fathering Mr. Chinwa's child. Gospel singer Nathaniel Bassi has petitioned the Inspector General of Police Kayode Egbetokun to investigate and prosecute four persons who he who accused him of criminal. Um, um, who he accused of criminal defamation and cyber stalking. The singer submitted the petition to the IGP on April 1st, 2024 through his lawyers, Channels TV reports. Last week, four social media users alleged um, Bassi, alleged that Bassi fathered the son of the fellow um, popular gospel singer, an allegation that went viral on X. The lawyers def therefore urged the police authorities to urgently treat the petition against the four social media users identified in the petition as Okoronko EJK, Kinsley Ibe, um, Terence Eckert, and DJ Sports Kid. Our client is a gospel music minister whose songs and ministrations have impacted the lives of so many from different walks of life across the globe. On Friday 29th of March um, 2024, Mercy Chinwo, um Blessed, another popular um, gospel mu music minister and her husband posted pictures of their son and themselves on different social media platform. However, our client was disheartened, saddened, and grossly disturbed to find that the above mentioned suspects as um, suspects as mischief makers with a criminal intent to destroy the image and character of our clients had made different social media posts of defamatory matters, calling our client the father of, of Minister Messi Chinwa Blessed Son a woman who is married to another man. Those nefarious acts of this suspect, if not immediately dealt with, will continue to destroy our client's image, injure his reputation, assassinate his character, and cast um, as, uh, aspersion on the good name built by our client over the years. Consequently, we urge you to use your good office to, in, in the interest of justice, investigate the matter, arrest and bring the suspect to justice, which will serve as a, deterrent, as a deterrent to others. The petition reads in part from Channels TV. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Personally, this is fantastic. Like, if we do not go the lengths, especially when it comes to a case like this, um, I get that people say, oh, there's freedom of speech. And let me just say my mind. I've said it before. Let me say my mind. Let me say my mind. And allow me to, you know, it starts, it's, it's a slippery slope. It's not your body. My body, my choice. Before you know, people have gone astray. Let me say what's in my mind. Let me say what's in my mind. You see people talking anyhow, insulting people, all in the name of free your mind. Hey, it's a free word, freedom of speech. I'm creating content. You see people sitting in front of camera, to open their mouth and say that this woman's son belongs to this man. And you say it so emphatically like you were there. Such allegations that are heavy. Heavy allegations. No allegedly. No this thing. Hey, see. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I feel if not for anything, this particular thing, as like, you know when, when something keeps repeating itself, it is a call to order for all content creators. Now, I'm going to say this because it's more in-house. YouTube content creators, Instagram content creators, all the content creators, this is a call to order. 
there should be a line. We, you cannot, you cannot say everything. There should be a line. There has to be a line. There has to be a line, a line beyond which we cannot touch. And one thing is certain, kids are off limits. I do not care how much you're about to make. Kids are off limits. Kids are off limits. No use your hand cause problem when you no go fix off. Kids are off limits. Families are off limits. Especially when institution whereby they talk about something where we say, it no affects the person. And understand that, let me tell you one thing here, and this is going to, to brush on those that are showing their lives and those that are talking about their lives. Now, if me on one hand, I'm showing, that's one part I want to address. If you show too much, they say you have a right to privacy. There are some things about your personal life. No amount of money is worth it. Keep them inside house. No amount of money is worth, is worth it. On the other hand, you don't get a person one naked worker for road. It's not everything you say. Simply because the person naked is safe outside. No means say you go talk about that. It's not everything. It's not everything. These are two different angles. So if in, in the beginning of her pregnancy or pro probably beginning of when she just gave birth and all, she didn't show her baby's face. And then we're like, let us see this baby self. Let us see this baby self. You now pack all the anger of why did you hide your baby and start attacking the child. Forgetting that that woman just gave birth. The woman that they're attacking on social media just gave birth. She has never done anything to you. A gospel. She has never done. Do you know what uh, 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 um, this thing, what they call postpartum stress is? For her to be opening comments and seeing these things. It's painful. We should be very careful as content creators. I know that so there's a part of catching crews. But when you hurt somebody to the point where it, it get pain where we say no amount of money you want to make is worth it. I'm telling you. Just pray that God will show you an idea that you don't even need to cause people pain to make money. You just need to just find one idea where we say, even as they talk the story, you go talk them in a way that you have a line. I don't care how you want to say, see, the moment you reach children, no talk. Just talk and up, go. The moment you reach family, rich husband, we no putting mad for anything. Just avoid it. If you want to quarrel, Content creator to content creator. Quarry your quarry. But leave children aside. Leave husband aside. There are some things that when you see on the on the on the streets of YouTube, it's me. That's why I, I have to be sincere with you. That's the reason why I don't read many stories. I don't watch many videos. The moment I see something that I know will grieve my spirit. Bible says, whatsoever things are pure, think on these things. The things that are not pure, I don't want anything that will make me form an opinion of you, that will make me start to have suggestive thought, like, I will come to see you for light while no one see you. I just like to see everybody nicely, like, i just see you up, 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 up. If I know that whatever I want to click now, that's why some clickbait, they even make me know they watch the video. You might end up, of, of, of course, talking good, but then the fear that if I watch this thing now, hmm, it will make me hate this person that is saying, or it will make me have a, a contrary thought towards this person or towards this person. I will just avoid it. Because the truth is, you don't understand what words, words can do and form in the lives of people that are hearing it. You just drop DNA matter. You've, you've sown a seed. You've sown a seed. Social media is such that they carry this news. They don't run with them. Freedom of speech is not, it doesn't give guarantee like people should just be talking anyhow. I have done the video about the UK own and I'm doing this video about now. My fellow content creators, I beg you in the name of God. While we are reacting, and this is for those that are doing raw vlogs and those that are doing reaction. As you are doing your raw vlog, I will not, but both the reactors and the raw vlog people, if I'm just going to bring it here. I'm not the kind of person that in, initially I wanted to just do a live stream and just smoke or settle this thing, never reach like that and all of that. But let it not be like we are fanning something that is our adding more fire to something. But with this, I decided to, to say this. Those that are doing raw vlogs and those that are doing reaction, I will not tell you how to do your content. It is, it is I mean, I know be your mother, I know be your elder sister. Do you understand? It will, be, it will be somehow of me because why would I teach a grown person? But please let us have a line in terms of how we report things, 
in terms of how we talk about people. There has to be a line. I've always wanted to say this thing. If person they talk about in family, eh, in a light that is not respectful to you, no use that same disrespect to talk about the same family. Because no be you marry the person. I'm telling you now. It's, I'm, this is just the raw facts. If person call if a husband or a wife coconut head, it's between husband and wife. The day you want to talk about the husband or the wife, you cannot call him coconut head. You cannot call her coconut head. That's not how it works. If you see him for road tomorrow, you know, go say, hey, coconut head. Maybe because not the pet name. No. You will accord the respect. As person we get home training, you go put Mr. XYZ. Good day, sir. You know, respect the person. No talk say simply because the wife know the respect and yourself go join this. Don't. Nah, nah. Person will get better character. No, they, they, no, they, you know they do that. No, do, no, do like that. No, do like that. You understand? And then you, where they bring out things, know that, eh? In as much as they show, line suppose they cover some, protect, no be everything that they carry come aside. No be everything that they carry come aside because you, as soon as you don't open, smoke don't go around. You cannot cover the smoke now. It has gone everywhere. You cannot go and start catching things back. Now the one way you show, protect, cover, cover, try as much as possible. This social media, many people where they watch, it's not everybody that cares about you. Some are just vibes. Some na, you know, world is even very stressful. Let's watch and just laugh about some things. So not everybody is taking this thing to heart like that. Be very careful. Eh? Be careful. It never reached. Like, there were three incidences this, this year that grieved my heart so much. I say, how? Since when we don't begin to take things far like this? It's not good. I couldn't even... See, today I never... I cannot tell you that I, I went deep down into the story because just headline alone, I know if you watch them. But those three incidences, it grieved my spirit too much. It, it's not fair. It's not fair. As we are content creators, create your content in a way that you see children, more no follow children talk. You see respect for husband, family, especially when the person, even if you hate the person, say the person mouth too big, it too they talk any carry the respect where you get for your own person or you have from, from your own house and accord and extend to them. I assure you that there are many ways to make money without crossing the line, like these people that uh, Nathanae Basi have sued now. There are many ways to make money. You go still talk the news, but you no go cross line. You go still do the reaction, but you no go cross line. Even when the person where they bring the talk, they cross line. You go react on top, up, up. You waka go. Same news, same everything. But you no go cross line. You will not call names. You will not insult husband, insult. Ah, you never reach like that. Never reach like that. Forgive people. But you see children. That one, hey. Huh? Me, I'm just saying it because for me, I, I, I try to treat people the way I want to be treated. And I try to look at things from different angles. I want to look at it through the eye of the person that is offended and through the eye of the person that is doing the off offense. And I want to see if each person is doing it in a malicious way, you understand? And that's why I said, hmm, I've said this several times, how I use bondage my picking. Hmm. If I put myself in the shoe of saying my picking that they drag like this. All the people that I want to face, eh? oh my God, you go, don't forget your picking feet don't even marry. They graduate self. Like, it's how long I can, I can be ready for you. Many people, they like that though. Nothing say because you don't talk one bad thing, you don't go. It's all over. Person feet just, they, they wait for you. For you. Just in the pile, they come. That's why I say be very careful. You see, children, don't let, let us not talk about, let's leave that, you know. Hmm. I'm just saying it, guys, let me know your thoughts. I'm just doing it, I'm just doing it. You where they offend and you where they receive the offense. Let's be guided. Now, concerning this story, this is just a wake-up call for all content creators and my fellow YouTubers. Let us try our best not to be malicious in our reports. Try our best not to make um, certain, you know, all these kind of allegations, heavy duty allegations when it applies to children. You understand? This is like, 
it's a line that we cannot cross. This line is too is ah is 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 something else. Please, guys, please, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. This particular one touched me so much, and um, I just thought to do this video. Um, let me know what you think. Do you think that the pastor should forgive him? Uh, do you think that it's right to sue? What are your thoughts on the current um, reporting in terms of content creators? Not just Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Do you think content creators are crossing the line with this DNA matter? with um talking about people's um families and their personal life matter do you think content creators are going too far you know i've done this video before um on my other channel acid alien vlogs talking about the content creators that are pushing the boundaries in terms of you know when you report too much about uk canada this people are blaming them that content creators talk too much and so these countries are putting a lot of tighter immigration policies now in our normal everyday life do you think content content creators are still talking too much to the point where it is causing people more harm guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and as usual remember your girl acid darling please check out my other videos and i'll see you in my next one bye guys Everybody said you are my Oh